Hi, Carrie and Cherise in my favorite place, um, a golf cart tour of Orange Park Acres. So come with us for a little ride and check out the neighborhood. Continuing our little tour of Orange Park Acres, right now we're here in Lazy Creek and we're just going to take you on a little tour of the different communities here in Orange Park Acres. Lazy Creek is more towards the Chapman and Orange Park Acres side of um, Orange Park. Um, a lot of just single story ranch style homes and it's connected to all the trail system here in Orange Park Acres. HOA in here is $132 a month and it's super cute so I'll show you around. There are also a couple of gated communities throughout Orange Park Acres. Wilderness is one, and that's a small community of only 48 homes. HOA dues are 380. They have RV parking, horse stalls, and a riding arena. Those homes have a shared wall, but they do have their own individual like backyard and outdoor space. And each home gets a horse stall at least one, and I believe it's $80 to keep your horse there. Doesn't include feed or anything like that. Broadmoor is another gated community. That one's a little bit larger, 205 homes or so, and HOA dues are about 320. They have tennis courts. And a lake and horse facilities. It's on the corner of Newport and Chapman and is gated, but also you can connect to all the trails here in Orange Park Acres as well. Uh, the reserve is a smaller community right across the street from the from Wilderness. Uh, those about 30 homes in there and HOA dues are 280. The reserve is closer to Santiago Oaks on that side of uh, Santiago Canyon Road. And those are individual larger homes sitting on larger lots. The next community we have is Pheasant Run, which is uh, pretty close to Broadmoor. There's 48 homes in there, and the HOA in there is $210 a month. And those are single family homes on you know over 10,000 square foot lots for the most part. Uh, and the last community within Orange Park Acres is Saddle Hill. And that one has an HOA of $182. So these are the different communities within Orange Park Acres, but there are plenty of homes in here that don't have HOA that are you know, throughout the community. 